breaking right now at 6, an FDA panel is recommending the administration give Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine emergency approval for distribution across the country. The FDA is expected to follow that recommendation and a final decision is expected within days. It is the first COVID vaccine to get this far in the approval process in the United States. Now, Tennessee says it will receive about 57,000 doses of the Pfizer vaccine. State leaders say those doses should arrive in 11 Tennessee counties by December 18th. Hospitals in both Knox and Blunt counties are set to receive the vaccine. You can see the other counties also expected to get the drug right now on your screen. Those doses will go to 27 hospitals. The Knox County Health Department says some of those numbers are changing. When we're not getting a different number daily or multiple times a day, we will start putting that information out. I can't stress how quickly this information is changing and it's changing dramatically. So um, we want to be responsible and put the most um, factual information that we're going to be acting on into the public when we have it. High exposure health care workers, people in nursing homes and first responders will be the first in the state to be injected with the vaccine, but it could take time to vaccinate that first group. There are about 450,000 people in this first wave of vaccinations in Tennessee. Again, the state is only receiving about 57,000 doses in its first shipment, and the state population is almost 7 million people. Now, if the FDA chooses to authorize the vaccine, Dr. Bill Smith, who leads the human clinical trials at Volunteer Research Group in Knoxville, says the company will likely start distributing the vaccine fast. It is anticipated that Pfizer will begin the, the shipping process as early as tomorrow, and that since we're into the weekend, it will probably be the first of next week before we see anyone in Knoxville in injected. Right now on the 10 News app, we have answers to some of your questions about COVID-19 from who gets it and when and to allergic reactions and to the side effects. Just look for the As Seen on TV section of the 10 News app.